And Steve and I were over in his garage and I picked up the 77 Thunderbird actually last spring and haven't really gotten uh, to do a whole lot on it, but got a video on changing the valve covers on it. We, I did that and uh, we're going through the car a little bit to see what it needs. So we got our 77 Thunderbird here and the wheel seal is leaking pretty good on this side. And um, it's all wet. Yeah, so the drum, it's sliding right off and it's all gooey in there and wet in here. Yeah. So we got a lot of work to clean this clean this all up, get, sand it down, scuff it. And then our shoes. The shoes, Tony didn't buy shoes, so we're gonna clean them, brake clean them and sand them up. And uh, you know, probably in the future, we're gonna um, get some shoes for it. Why'd we you just, buy shoes? Uh, These things are mint. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get the, the leak <laughs> one tonight. So um, fortunately the axle seals aren't leaking. It's just the wheel cylinders that are leaking. It's an old uh, bird. Yeah, so. Uh, We'll take a look at it. And this car's sure. got 43,000 miles on it. Yeah, we gotta look, get, look with the light over here. So Steve and I, I saw a big puddle under my rear end where the brake cylinder goes. Wasn't able to take the um, the tires off till I got it over here. So it looks like we've got something else going on other than the wheel cylinder, right? Yeah, so if you look over here, you know, we have some wheel cylinder seepage. This car's a 77. Yeah. So, you know, we definitely got something going on here. But yep. when you look down over here, look where my fingers are. This is this is all gear oil yeah, that's, that's leaking amazing. out. So, you know, we have to pull the axle and the wheel bearing comes out with it. We have to press the wheel bearing off and the seal is behind it. And yeah, this is a, this is turning into a job. So. Tony ain't cheaping out. We're gonna get new brake shoes, hardware kit. He's already got the wheel cylinders. We're gonna get the rear um, bearings because you can't really take them off without damaging them, yeah. even though it has low mileage on the car. So it's, it's gonna, old stuff too, guys. It's like a 40 year old car. Yeah, so. Right. But we just looked it all over. Man, the frame's solid, the floor's solid. <clears throat> There's a lot of nice components on the car. It's just. Uh, you know, power steering hose is leaking on it. It's all small stuff that yep. for a 40 year old car, you can't really complain about. So our objective is to get all the leaks buttoned up on it and make sure it's safe. And you know, the front brakes and rotors and calipers have all changed, all the flex hoses are new. So we gotta get the back of this thing buttoned straightened up. out. And this, you know, I, I don't can't really say that you're gonna do this job in your driveway. Now, what you can do is if you pull your axles yourself, you can bring them down to a machine shop if you don't have a press, and they could press the new bearings and new seal and slip the seals off for you, and then you can do a reassemble, which will save you a ton of money. And it's not hard to do this. We got, you know, these four bolts in here to pull the axle out. Yep. And, um, you know, you just line up your hole with your with the thing with the axle and you're going to take that off we're going to rotate it around we're going to pull them all off and so steve if i'm not mistaken you should be able to remove those four bolts and then the axle should slide out yeah oh, is it, there a clip in there no there's no clip in there that's okay why, that's that's the thing about the <clears throat> ford nine inch there's Ice. no cover on the back of the ford nine inch rear end it's the drag racer's choice right so <laughs> it's real super duty actually yeah. so so th how it is is a lot of times we'll put a slide hammer on this to, to pull it and whack it to pull the thing out. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to just come out easy like the Jeeps do. Like Tony had yeah. the Jeep, we did this too, and that came out real easy. But yep. Um, and there's, if I remember correctly, we'll elaborate a little more on it. There's a couple of different types of bearings in here. There's the old style bearing with the race, and then they have a one piece sealed bearing, um, which is a little heavier duty. and you know, we'll probably, we're gonna price that out and, and go with that. And um, and then once we get that out, we press it on. It's real easy to do the brake shoes with the axle out of the vehicle. And we we'll put all new hardware, when we strip this down, we're gonna wire brush our back and plate nice and clean, brake clean it nice and dry. And we're gonna start over with new hardware and new wheel cylinders. So that is going to be our job for another day, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what we're up against with this old car of mine, and stay tuned.